into your feel-good breakfast show, Expresso here on SABC3. Now, if one person in Zanzi Africa can break the internet, then it has to be none other than our beloved Somji Somgaga. <laughs> South Africans knocked the pre-sale orders for media personality Somizi Mshongo's new cookbook, Dinner at Somizi's, I Am Not a Chef, at the park, and it's finally on bookstore shelves right now. And we are ready to receive it. Now, the star who can now add cookbook author to his long list of accomplishments is joining us now uh, via video call to share more about his latest in a long line of achievements. achievements. Some Gigi, some Gaga, welcome to the show. Sunny Bonani, Huyamore, good morning. La, bonjour, konnichiwa. Yes. Eitara. Alice. Yes. <laughs> yes. So easy, I just want to say rest. You yeah. Know, friend, you've been doing the most. Working. How does it even feel knowing that the fans were so ready for you to release this cookbook? It feels so good. So good. Um, I'm glad that I always um, make my dreams come true mm. and stick to my words by um, having a vision and having a goal, dotting it down on my vision board and then it coming to fruition, it is super, super fulfilling and amazing. I can imagine. I mean, your show Dinner at Somizi's has been an absolute fan favorite. Why do you think that a lot of people resonate with the show so much? Um, I think it's different from any other show that I've seen as well because I watch a lot of cook shows and also people can relate because I allow myself to make mistakes in the show and when we shoot I always tell them if I burn food don't edit it out because I want people to be comfortable because people are scared of the kitchen with me I make it a very welcoming area because it's your kitchen. So do as you want, be comfortable in your own kitchen. So I think people can resonate with that and, and they love the authenticity about the show and myself. And one thing that a lot of people also truly love is what you bring out to the icons that you, you invite into your homes. You see how Golisi was there, oh, Ringo Madlingos, like what? And just getting to experience them, how is that like for you? It's, it's simple and the rule, when, when we started the show, I explained to them that I don't want to have a guest that I haven't met one or I, the, a guest that I don't have a relationship with outside entertainment. So I want it to be as natural and as organic and as authentic as possible. I don't want to Google questions or their their history and stuff like that. I want to talk to someone that I would normally without cameras host in my own home. Mm. So when I'm with Sia off camera, he's this crazy guy who's full of jokes and, and a lot of people think of him as Oh, in the glow, fun, <laughs> on the serious, <laughs> and on the World Cup, on the yeah. No, Sia is crazy, is fun, is, is, is quirky, uh, is goofy, and, and that's what I want with my guests. Yeah. Rebecca is a hallelujah in the name of mm, 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 mm. But with me, she is just <laughs> yeah. a sister and a friend yeah. that I've known for years. So some people say, but what happens if you go to season two, season three, season four, you're going to run out of guests? No. I've lived 800 years on this earth and I've met 80,000 people and I will never run out of guests that I've met. Love it. But honestly, it's the realness for me because mm. people crave this, people want to see this, people want to see unedited, people want to see yeah. the flaws that you bring to the show. But how did this entire crazy idea come about, you know, from the concept of on screen to the page? What did it take to put this entire cookbook mm. together? Sure, it took a lot of money and it took a lot of work. I thought making a cookbook is just cooking, putting it on the plate and taking your phone and uh, like Instagram and that's it. No, there's everything, like a huge team. And with me, what's worse was that I wanted to be hands on. I personally cooked every single dish because I don't want it to look like somebody else's touch. I want people to taste and feel me. And it put a lot of pressure on me, but I was glad that I was hands-on because everything that you see is exactly how Somizu would want it. I love it. And recently you enjoyed a fabulous launch event, last Thursday um, to be specific, where the theme was as colourful as your favourite 
Dish. What a cool theme. What did it mean to release this book to the public while also sharing your favorite dishes with some of your favorite people? Sure, it's, 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 it's such a fulfilling feeling for people to finally experience and experiment with everything that I do at home. But more than anything, I tasted my food for the first time being made by somebody else. And that also put a stamp and it uplifted my confidence in knowing that mm. actually my book is great mm. because the food was amazing. And that also inspired me to open a restaurant, which I'm doing next year in June. Oh and my God! Can we please be on the Season PR two. list as well <laughs> when you do open so that we can come? But we'll also support you because, I mean, whatever you touch is gold and we were 100%. always there for you. Yeah. Season two of Dinner Song. Thank you. You said it's coming. An open restaurant, your reality show is still coming. Music, music. Manifest. I've just, I've just released a single with Judith Sipuma, a Christmas special. You can get it on iTunes and all um, music platforms. And also, Vusinova has featured me in a song that I did way back mm. uh, called Indandane. So we're dedicating it to our mothers and wish anyone can dedicate it to their mothers, whether alive or passed on. Mm. And that is coming on next week, coming out next week, Friday. Oh, December <laughs> vibes coming through. <laughs> but I want to bring it back, you know, to, you spoke about it now, your mother. We know that your mother, Mary, would have loved to share this milestone moment with you. Her last on-screen role in This Is Not A Burial, It's A Resurrection is about to reach theatrical release. What would you like to share about your thoughts on your mother? this last entry into her very impressive uh, legacy? Um, so I got a call from the producer to say, come to the screening uh, um, last week uh, on the 27th. And she, she and I, I sent her a voice note. And as I was sending her a voice note, I was actually choking to say, I am not ready to watch my mother. Oh. I am not ready at all to, to, to watch her. And people must never be surprised at how I do it. I. I was born in, in, in entertainment royalty and my mother's work ethic was equal to none. And now I look at her and I'm like, damn, this woman, she didn't die. She absolutely multiplied. Mm -hmm. And to realize that she is Cora to receiving an Oscar, I am like, she actually deserves to be there. At some point, I think she knew that this was her last movie because she gave it all and she left with a bang. In it's overflowing with joy because you have just shared so much of your life with us and it's something that we find inspiration from because you are very open about your journey in the entertainment industry and for everything to come into fruition the way that it's mm. happening. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh my and the book is now available at all the CNA stores across the country and beyond the borders. Can I just say so, Mizi, I love the way that you cook, because you cook like my mom. How many milliliters of this and yaz is I bona pay and busy? Throw it all in there. Throw it all in there. So Mizi, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us this morning. As always, you're amazing mm. and kudos and keep manifesting. We are here for it. We are receiving everything that you're putting out there. So thank yes, you again. Yes, yes.